Hi, I'm Mr. C, the teacher. With over 28 years of teaching experience in the public school system, I specialized in teaching early primary grades. That's for children ages 5 to 8. And the lessons I've created here are the same ones I use in my classroom on a daily basis. I've created hundreds of lessons in every possible curriculum area. So, grab your tools for school and join in with our lessons, or just sit back and watch along with us. Let's do some learning together, because you're watching Lessons from the Classroom. Hi, welcome to Lessons from the Classroom. In this episode, we're going to focus on community and the places in our community. Now, often when we think of community, we think of the people that we live with in our community and the people that work in our community and provide lots of services. But for today's episode, we're going to focus just on places. And I suggest to you to think of all the favorite places in your community. Now, whether your community is a big city or whether your community is a small town, or whether you consider your community just your neighborhood area, community always has lots of great places that you can go and have fun at and that you enjoy visiting. In this video, you're going to see a number of places from my community, the Cowichan Valley, here on Vancouver Island. At the end of the video, you're going to be able to have a chance to take some paper or a sketchbook and draw some pictures of your favorite places in the community. My community is the town of Duncan, nicknamed the City of Totems. My community is located in the western part of Canada, in the province of British Columbia, on Vancouver Island, in the town of Duncan. And from up here on top of Mount Zuhalem, you can take a look down on downtown Duncan. And in the fall, when school starts again, the weather starts to get a little cooler, we can see that the leaves start to change color. and then the leaves fall off the tree. And then in the winter time, I love it when sometimes it snows. One of the things I love about my community is all the Christmas lights at winter time. And in our community in springtime, the trees come out and blossom. And I love the early part of spring when the first flowers begin to come up. And as the end of June rolls around and school comes to an end, the summer season in our community begins. The trees have leaves, the grass goes yellow, the sky is blue, and the temperature gets hotter. Most of the time you end up being in t-shirts and shorts. 
and you have to find a way to cool down by heading to your swimming pool or down to the local beach. And we have great beaches here like Maple Bay Beach. And there's some great tourist destinations such as the Malahat Skywalk that's behind me here. And I love that my town of Duncan has the world's largest hockey stick and puck. Too cool. And we've got a great local skateboard park. town has the best community center and the best library. We have a great little movie theater. And we've got a great caboose to go along with our museum here in the town. Our town used to have a train that ran from the south of the island all the way up to the north of the island. In our town, we have this great totem pole walk that goes all over the town with over 80 different totem poles to see.
these are some of the totem poles on the totem pole walk that you can do in our town. Just outside of the Duncan Law Courts building, this round building, is a totem pole that holds the world's record for the largest around, the widest totem pole in the world, biggest circumference. Chinatown was once located right in this area. The Town Hall in downtown Duncan is a well-known landmark site. And out front of Town Hall with its clock tower are the flags that represent Canada, BC and Duncan. The Canadian flag. flag of British Columbia. That's the flag of the township of Duncan. And we have a terrific farmer's market on Saturday. Biggest one on the island. And in our city square, we sometimes even have bands performing up on the stage. We even have recycling in our community. And this is one of the oldest churches in the Duncan area. It's known as St. Peter's Church. And within the grave site, we have the burial plot of William Duncan, of whom the town of Duncan is named after. And I love the hiking trails in our community. This trail is close to our home as well as close to our school, the school that I work at. Beautiful nature trails for walking on. It is for the love of beautiful places like this that I love my community. And you gotta love the sea life down here. Check out these sea lions behind me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe a place in your community that's important to you is a place you might go to every day, like our school. What is your community like? And what's one of your favorite places in your community? All right, welcome back. It's time to grab your sketchbook or some paper, some crayons, your pencil and eraser, and let's draw some of your favorite places in your community. So this is a worksheet that goes with our theme unit on community. And we're looking at our very own community, which is Duncan here on Vancouver Island in the Cowichan Valley. And we've watched our video first that shows all the different things around our community of the Cowichan Valley in Duncan. Now it says, think of things that are seen in your town. And I've actually got a few different worksheets. This one gives you a chance to draw one picture. My next worksheet gives you a chance to draw two. I have another worksheet that gives you a chance to draw three pictures. And I have one last final worksheet that gives you a chance to draw four different pictures of things that are your favorite places here in the town of Duncan. So think of things that are seen in your town and draw a picture of one of your favorite places in Duncan. And then at the bottom, we're going to write what it is. Well, one of my favorite things in Duncan, of course, is the giant hockey stick and puck. In fact, it holds the world's record for being the largest puck and the largest hockey stick in the entire world. And it's on our skating rink building. And it's a giant wooden stick that's absolutely huge. And I'm gonna draw a picture of that giant wooden hockey stick. And we'll color it in. And that giant hockey stick is actually attached to the side of the building that's our ice rink. So maybe I'll just quickly draw in the outside of the building here. And what I want to write down here is I want to write this is, and here in town we call it the big stick. I'll just make it a little more specific and say the big hockey stick and it's for ice hockey of course and it's outside of our local town's ice rocky ice hockey rink at our community center the big stick now if i do the worksheet that allows me to draw two pictures of something i think i'll draw the the giant great big world's record holding hockey stick is one of my pictures and i think for my other picture I might draw our famous train. We have the Cowichan Valley uh, Forestry Park train. So it's a forestry center that's all about logging. And on that center, they actually have these great old trains that used to be used during the forestry uh, logging that, that would happen. And uh, you can go for a ride on these trains. They're fantastic trains. One's a really old steam train. The other one's a big electric train and they go around a great big figure eight track over top of a lake and through the woods and everything else. And they're just great trains. I love going on those trains. I'm going to write in this is a train and again that's at our BC Forest uh, Museum that we have the train 
Now, if I were to do the page that had three pictures, I'd do the giant big stick, I'd do the BC Forest Museum trains that we have, and I think for the third thing, I would draw the fact that Duncan is known by its nickname, the City of Totems. And that's because we have over 80 totem poles in the city of Duncan. 80 of them. That's a huge amount of poles to go walking around and you get to see them all. Impressive. And there's big poles and small poles. I think I'll just draw some with some faces on them. Our poles are just plain wood, and some are painted in, so I might add a bit of color to this one. Down here I'll put, this is a hockey stick, this is a train, and totem poles, which the town of Duncan is famous for. Totem poles. Over 80 of them. If I were to do the work page that would allow me to do four pictures of things here in my town, I might do the giant big stick, I might do the BC Museum's forestry trains, I might do the totem poles of which we have 80 of them in our city that you can walk around on tour and see them all. And then for the fourth box, boy, that's hard to choose. I could do the, the red caboose that's down at the old train station. I could do our red brick city hall with the bell tower where the bell chimes every hour. I could do some important places like the library or the gymnastics gym or maybe the big huge swimming pool with its great slide, tube slides that go down around it. Lots of different places that I could choose. But I think I'm going to choose to do Mount Prevost, which we can see from our own school. Now, Mount Prevost is this great mountain, really high peaked. And way up on top of the mountain, you can see this white monument that sticks up. And the sunlight shines on it. It's a monument to honor some of the um, soldiers that fought in the different world wars. And the top of the mountain is all rock and craggy. And there's hand gliders who will jump off of that and the hand gliders will sail through the air doing some hand gliding which is pretty cool they're up there for sometimes a long time hand gliding up there in the air that they jump off at the top of the mountain top of the mountain of course is covered in lots and lots of trees so it's a great place and so lucky to be able to see it from our school all the time except of course when it's cloudy and sometimes when it's really sunny and there's good winds you can see those hand gliders floating around up there so that's Mount Prevost, a popular mountain that you can see from our town. We have other mountains around, of course, too, like Mount uh, Tulumi and uh, Mount Sicker and lots of other play famous mountains as well. At the bottom, I've got, this is the big hockey stick. This is the train at the BC Forest Museum. This is one of the totem poles out of the 80 totem poles around our town called the City of Totems. And this to me is one of my favorite mountains. It's called Mount Prevost or Prevost. There's even a school here in Duncan named Mount Prevost School. There we go. Those are the four drawings I chose. You might choose four different ones. Well, thanks for joining me in this lesson. I hope you had fun, worked on some new skills, and maybe learned something new as well. Join me next time on another episode of Lessons from the Classroom. Bye for now. For more videos created by Mr. C, the teacher, 
go to Google and type in Mr. C's full name, Chris Castellarin YouTube, and do a search. And you'll find plenty of more videos here.